What's up, everybody? It is me, Frosty, from the Frosty and IC team. And today, I started up a podcast section in my Discord server yesterday, and I got a lot of questions. So, I'm going to answer them all today. And first of all, I want to say, everyone, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I've already said that in almost every video, but we hit way further than I thought my goal would ever go. So, I'm very proud. I'm glad. So, all right, here we go. So, question number one is from Sky Demon on Discord, uh, also known as Z. He knows me. By the way, I can't really change with the brightness. I'm uh, by my kitchen table right now. It's pretty much where I have to be to record. I'm gonna have to get used to the bright light in the background. Who is the man you voice act for and are trying to impress? I voice act for myself, uh, and I'm trying to impress another man in our server who's asked me a few questions. Uh, Danman five two nine. Actually my next question so yep i also still have a little bit morning voice but it's going off and on right now because i've been up for a little bit so here we go danman529 first of all this is the leader of laser bunch also notice just stan love his content i watch all the machinimas i love everything about it love this kind of content cannonbolt was in the server same thing would be said for him also there's some news coming up for cannonbolt but i'll announce that here in a little bit okay Previous, 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 previously asked you in our recent call, but I figured it's still a good one for the vid. What inspired you to get into Machinima and Halo into general? Okay, this is going to be a long question. When I was uh, about four years old, Halo came into my life with Halo 3 ODST. I was in first grade. No, I wasn't even in first grade yet. It was still... I don't even think it was in kindergarten. Anyways, you catch what I, you catch my drift. You catch what I'm getting at here. So I was I was very young. Halo 3 ODST. Not even my stepdad had it. My stepbrother didn't know what Halo was. No one in my family knew what it was. It was just in the house. And what's weird is the house that we had was built. So it somehow showed up there. I don't know. A lot of people don't know. But I love it. I, ever since Halo came in my life, I've been into Halo on the 360, and then a few years ago, I got my Xbox One, and I played the heck out of it. I was online every day playing campaigns, multiplayer. I was on everything. I loved, I still, just still do love Halo. And Machinima, so Machinima, the first thing, the very first Machinima I ever watched when I was about six was Red vs. Blue, and I still re-watch that show about every week. I love Red vs. Blue. It's amazing. I've watched about every season in a week. Love it. Except for Zero. I hate Zero. Zero is the worst. Don't even get me started on why Zero is the worst. But yeah. Anyways, so that was uh, Halo. And then Machinima is Red vs. Blue. I like Red vs. Blue, but I noticed I know how difficult it is to make a Machinima. And then I watched some of uh, your content, actually. Which, one of your first things of content that I loved was probably the uh, Lone Wolves. I love Lone Wolves. I still rewatch Lone Wolves a lot today. And Perfect Soldiers Elimination and Perfect Soldiers Evolution. I love those. You say Evolution's cringy. I say it's beautiful. We're going to have to agree to disagree on that one. So, yeah. So, that was Dan Man's question. So, now we go down to the next one. Another one from Dan Man. Okay. What is your goal long term for the channel? Do you hope to make content past five years from now? Ten years? Is this something you want to do forever like Greg? So my very first goal on the channel was 30 subscribers. After 30, I decided I was going to settle down because that was my goal. I was just going to stop after I hit my goal. Then I kept going for just a hobby. And then I kept going more and more and more. And then I got to 50 with the name Clutch Clips CTV after Killionaire YT. And then after that, after that 10 years, it went from 10 years. I've been doing this for about 10 years, actually. I've been doing it for a very long time with a lot of different channels. This is the one that's lasted the longest. And then whenever I changed to Frosty and I see it hit 100 subscribers. And now I have no plans of stopping. I want to do this forever. If not for a job, then just like a hobby. And with the rookie coming out, hopefully that should work out. 
So there you go. That was from Damn Man 529 in the server. Also, he's the only one with yellow roll. That means you respect him the most, even out of me. You respect him more than you respect me in the server. There's a reason why. Also, how to join my server. You go to the little menu thing, and you know how you can add links to your YouTube channel now. Well, look at the big image above my profile picture, or right where my profile picture is. It'll, if you look at the bottom right, there will be a Discord little icon there, and it'll say Discord. Click it, and then you will be in my server. Please join. I definitely need a lot more members. All right, so now we're on to Ice Samurai ED. I play VR with him, if you guys don't know. He's a very good friend of mine, and he's just a really cool guy. It's Samurai. How can you ever go wrong with Samurai? Samurai asks, what is your favorite Halo and why? Probably ODST. My second favorite is definitely... Ooh. Second favorite Halo game is probably Halo 3. And my third favorite Halo game, purely based on story, is Halo 4. A lot of people don't like Halo 4's story, and I love Halo 4's story. I like how they added the didact into the story. I love... Everything about Halo 4's story, pretty much. Except for the missions. The missions are so long and drawn out, my god. And ODST is probably my favorite because it was the first Halo game I ever played. And it got me through a lot of my life. So, probably ODST. And then, ooh, One They Fear 2 asked me a question. Now, this guy has helped me with a lot of story details for The Rookie and for everything on my channel in general. So, yeah. That's what he's done. And, of course, we're gonna, I'm going to answer his question. I'm definitely going to answer his question. It says, if the rookie becomes famous, will you make merch? The answer is yes. I'm definitely planning on making merch if the rookie does well. And if I get enough subscribers to where I can start making money, heck yes. I love, I love that a lot of people are already wanting me to make the rookie in general. I did think it was going to be popular without me even creating it, and then I have, ugh, God. Now I have over like a hundred people wanting me to make it fully, and I was like, fine, I'll make it. And it's also on VR, which is very difficult, which I think that's another question. So, so, the rookie, oh, I skipped your first question up there. Well, anyways, that is, I definitely will make merch if the rookie goes famous, and I've already got some ideas planned out for it, but I can't tell anyone that. I will send them once the rookie does well. Uh, when they hear your first question that I missed was, uh, oh wait, here we go, I could just do this. Panda messages, baby. So, you said, what's your thought on video games and how they're going and how they're evolving? Personally, I wish we would just stay back to the old 360 days of video gaming eras. It was perfect back then, but I love how we're doing now and how we keep growing. I I don't really agree with what Halo Infinite's doing. I wish we would still just use use Reach's progression system, but I don't want to get into an argument about that right now. I definitely hate the pro I definitely hate the XP system and everything. It sucks. We didn't even have match XP just for playing a match. A while ago so i mean if infinite would step up and maybe start looking at what their community wants instead of what they want maybe they could have a good game but right now infinite is dead in the water i do not like it until they start actually talking to the community and seeing what the community freaking wants then you're not getting anything out of me i love halo i love the games that you made other than the dog crap piece of crap game that you made called halo 5 which is exactly what halo infinite's becoming Start listening to what the community wants you to do for once, dude. They won't ever listen, though. Never. That's just not what they do. Jeez, it gets on my nerves. But yeah, I do not really like how video games are evolving. I definitely like the graphics and stuff that's evolving. I like the story, how the story is getting better and better with some of the games, like Halo Infinite. <laughs> We had a huge step up from Halo 5. I love, I like Halo Infinite's story from the campaign. I actually really do like the story. And it's, 
I gotta say, campaign replayability on Halo Infinite is very high. I play, I play a campaign just in and of itself a lot. Multiplayer, I still play the multiplayer because the multiplayer is fun. But I'm not gonna pay twenty dollars for a piece of armor that was in every other Halo game that you could unlock just for playing. So yeah, what you get for doing what you did is two middle fingers for me. So start learning how to make a game three four three. And I love 343 Industries. I love some of the story plots and ideas that they have done. But I don't like what they're doing right now with Infinite. So, there's my answer. Okay. When, okay. Cypress, or Icy, asked me, when are you going to come see me? The answer is never if you don't start showing up to voice act for me like you promised. Think about that. Uh, we already answered the first question. Who slash what made you start a channel, and which Halo game do you like more? Ooh. <laughs> to start a channel, in general, uh, to start a channel, everyone in my school back in Kansas loved YouTube. It was just the biggest thing to them. And for me, I was like, man, I absolutely love YouTube and I love the idea of YouTube and I want to become famous and start doing YouTube as a job. That didn't work out when I was young and then I made a whole bunch of other channels because I forgot the passwords and then I made the one that I have now. I love my channel right now. I love it absolutely. Love it. I, love it. I literally love it to death. I've already had some comments, hate comments before. Like I'm stealing stuff. No, I ask people if I can use them. They say yes and then they copyright claim me. Anyways, but yes, uh, to start a channel, it was probably, I don't know if anyone even remembers this channel. This was old. This is so old. Uh, one of the channels that made me want to start a channel was the channel Unspeakable. I loved the I loved the group, the gang. I call them the gang. I love them. Dude, I loved Unspeakable's channel. He's the one who start, inspired me to make a channel. And then he was actually the one who inspired me to make this channel that I have right now, back when it was still named Killian or YT. And then Clutch Clips TTV, I changed because of Unspeakable. Uh, the reason why is because there was somebody in the serve in a, com a comment section of a video that said, "Man, Killian Air YT, man, you should probably change it to Clutch Clips or something." And I said, "I'll do that, just that." And I made it Clutch Clips YT, and then Clutch Clips TTV, and then now we're here with Frosty and Icy. And which Halo game do I like more? Out of I think I'm guessing you're saying all the Halo games or. Which ones? You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific about that. But if we're talking about my favorites, my top five are probably Halo 3 ODST, Halo 3, uh, Halo Wars 2, Halo Wars, and Halo 4. Those are my top five. I love the OG Halo game story, like Halo 1 and Halo 2, but... Those are my top five, and I will get into that in another video on why those are my top five, but, yeah. How do you feel about most of the deaths that have happened in your area? The area that we live in, deaths are very stupid. I mean, people are dying in the stupidest ways possible. I mean, getting shot, stuff like that, but if you're talking about deaths in my life, uh, I hate them. I definitely don't think a lot of people should have to go through the amount of deaths that I've had to go through. So, but area, yeah, the area that we live in, dude, it, it sucks. I don't know if you were talking about my life or that. Anyways, give me just a minute. I got a direct message a second ago. Let me check this real quick. Who was it from? Who was it from? might be from samurai give me a minute yes i do have to check my computer okay we might even get a call in, in the middle of a different video god this video is long already okay yeah i'm gonna try to blow through a few of these questions i did not think a video is gonna take this long to answer questions ah um how many subscribers do I want to have by the end of the year? 
by the end of the year, my goal has always been 1K. That's my goal for 365 days, probably 1K. But I've got to say my goal was 100 a while ago, and we hit 100 by the end of a month. So if we keep that steady pace of by a month, then yes, we can definitely hit 1,000. If you can get one famous or just popular person to play Halo with you, who would it be? Damn man. Damn man. That's it, just Damn man. And maybe Cannonball. Just the whole gang of Lazy Bunch and Greg, too. Okay, uh, and then, uh, the answer is 82. I think it was 42. 82 or 42, that's the answer. Okay, you were one of the first people to make a Halo VR. Oh, by the way, this is by Dan Man. Kaylin in the server, who was the one who asked the previous three questions. Uh, uh does not count as a question, by the way. I just put that in there for a joke. You were one of the first people to make a Halo VR-based machinima. What challenges have you encountered so far? Okay. So, that's a very good question. That's a really good question. So, I am one of the first people to make... I think I am the first person to make a Halo VR-based machinima. Using VR chat, at least. VR, maybe I'm not the first, but VR chat, definitely. I think I'm the first. Uh, what challenge have I encountered so far? Okay. First challenge I've encountered is my cast not wanting to show up. That's just a normal thing, though, because in VR, it's more difficult to get other people to body act and then have the other people record their lines. That's more difficult than just having them show up for me because I don't have a lot of time to edit that kind of stuff, and especially because Blender's not working on my computer because very old Chromebook, and Linux is shut down on it. It just shut down a week ago, so I haven't been on this thing in a week. Yeah, please do not judge. Uh, another problem I've encountered is, uh, this is more of an obstacle, but sometimes my game will just lag out viciously. Like, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but where the final fight takes place on what we call the drill, there's a ray tracing button. If I click that button, you would think that they are dropping an atomic bomb in a VR game and it's just deleting the game itself. It is lag city, baby. It sucks. It, it's terrible. And then another one is hate. I'll be on VR chat trying to find people to voice act for me. And all people go, man, your show's never going to work out. I, I, hate, I hate whenever people hate on something that isn't even created yet. But yeah, I'll have to, I have a lot more. I'll have to get back to you on that one. But yeah. For someone... Who, okay, here's the final question. Also by Danman529, or as I call him, Dan, or Lacey Bunch. For someone who's just new starting out in the Machinima community, what piece of advice would you give them? So, I am also newer to starting off in the Machinima community. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that, guys. I am someone new who's starting out in the machinima community. Piece of advice I'd give for anyone else new is just go with what you want to do. Make what you have planned. Don't back out on it and keep doing what you want to do. Don't just say, man, I'm getting too much hate. Let's not do this. No, do it. Do it. I'm not, a, I will force you to do it if I have to. Do it. And I would also say, just love what you do, love the people in the community, don't be stupid and don't be bullying people in the community. I mean, this community already has enough hate as it is. We want to prove to people that we are better than what we are. And I mean, another big thing for like Halo in general, Halo Infinite, you have to do certain things in Forge just to have weapon lowering. Like, come on. My God, it gets on my nerves. But anyways, I do think definitely that uh, we're not on the right track. That's all I'm going to say. We're not on the right track. Halo's not on the right track. So anyways, that is all the questions I have for today's uh, Ask the Director. I was hoping these were all going to be a lot of, little bit about the rookie, but honestly, I like the questions that we got today. I mainly made this for asking the director for, like, rookie purposes and stuff, but I guess since it's not out yet, yeah, but it is called Ask the Director. It's in a 
server. I'm actually going to move it towards the top so that way you guys can see it. Oh, Dan Man just replied. Give me a minute, guys. We're going to see what... No, I can't say what he said in the video because it's private chat. Rah. All right, guys. Well, this has been me, Frosty from the Frosty and Icy team. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell button, too. That's That also helps out the algorithm. And, uh... Let's see if we can hit 1K by the end of the year. If we hit 1K by the end of the year, um, I'll let you guys decide. You get to choose something that I get to do for 1K, for hitting 1K subscribers. By the, if, if we hit it by the end of the year. All right, guys, this has been me, Frosty from Frosty and Icy Team. I will have more videos uploaded as much as I can. Peace, guys.